What's going on guys? Welcome back to this Final Fantasy X uh, walkthrough here. So, we ended last episode, we made our way through uh, Kilika Forest, made our way to the temple here, got here, and uh, apparently figured out that the biggest a-holes in the world are apparently converging on this one temple. We met the, the Luka Goers uh, Blitzball players who were just rude, and then Donna, a fellow summoner, who's rude, and, um, I finished by saying we were going to do the Cloister of Trials uh, when we first came back. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and go straight into that. Uh, I'm not sure how much further we're going to go beyond that. I might do the opening cutscenes for Luca. Probably cut it off there. We'll just wait and see, see how long the time goes. And uh, But before we do any of that, we've got to get the Cloister of Trials started. So uh, let's go ahead and head on up and see if we can go in. The faith is below. Let's do it! The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Nah! Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um... We'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. So me, not being a guardian, I'm not allowed to go in yet. And, you know, these people believe strong in their, in their beliefs, you know. They, they have a strong belief in exactly what they're doing, to follow the rules, they're told to follow the rules. And running back this way, we can't go out yet, so let's go step on this. Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah, let me go! Hey! What's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. So, you might be wondering kind of why they did that. And I guess we... Obviously we could just go back. Actually, I've never even tried that. Come on, go up! Go up! Okay, I'm, I've actually never ran back to this before. So we're just going to have to keep going forward, but, um... You're going to start to kind of understand... The summoners oh, the and... Wow. I'm sure no guardian. The way they think, the things they do, the stuff well, they say... I guess it's too late now. All that stuff, as the story goes along, you're going to start to understand them a little more and start to understand kind of why they just threw me onto there like that. It... I don't want to say anything, so I don't want to spoil anything. So we're getting ready to start the Cloister of Trials for the Kilika Temple. As I said, each uh, each temple has a uh, a special item you can get. So we're going to go ahead and definitely do that one here. I don't want to have to come back to any of these later and, and redo them. I'm just going to do them all while I'm there. So that burns the door, you take the spear back out. Fire disappears, and you can pass through. Head on through the door. Dude, I can't remember what to do here. I think I'll put this here first. I do. Okay, good. Take that, put it... Here, maybe? I can't really, I don't think it really matters. So... Open this door up. Okay, now, got a, big, got a big wall of fire here. Let's go ahead and take this off. Bring our pedestal in here. Is there a place to put this back here? Okay, there is good. 
Oops, my mind went blank. I couldn't remember exactly where things went. Okay, so we need to get the glyph spear out of. The... I hope this is right. It was right. Okay, good. Now, here's our destruction sphere. I believe. Wait, nope. I think we need to leave this here for now. I can't remember. What do I do? I can't even remember now. Okay, let me do the destruction sphere because I think that might be what we have to do here. Destruction sphere there. And move this onto the blinking light. And you know, these aren't super complicated. Some of them are just time consuming. I hope that was right. That was not right. Okay. So take this out. Put it back in here. I think I. Kilika Sphere Mega one there. I think that might be what I'm missing. Yeah, most of these puzzles aren't, like, super complicated. They're just... I'm telling you, the most complicated things in this game are the ways you uh, uh, obtain some of the legendary weapons and legendary items that go with the weapons. I mean, I mean it's just ridiculous how hard some of those are. That's right, now I know what to do. Put this up here. I need to go get the destruction sphere. And obviously, playing through this the first time, you don't realize the important... I didn't even realize a lot of the side stuff you could do in this game the first time I played it. I remember there was a certain boss I got to later in the game that I just took me the longest time ever to beat him. And this was the first Final Fantasy game I ever played. So... It seemed complicated to me. For one, I wasn't very old. Let's go ahead and put armlets, I think, on Kimara. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. He wards off all the elemental attacks. You can take this out and you can just walk through the door with it. Go ahead and head on in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. So she'll have to kind of initiate some conversations. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. Kind of an interesting concept if you think about it. I think that might be it for the dialogue. Just wait. Yeah, just head back this way. something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, 
in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. So, Ifrit is our new Aeon, and I think he might be my favorite in the game. Just this temple in general is one of my favorites in the game. Everything about the temple, uh, I like the Aeon that you get from it. I probably use him more than any of the others. I just, I, I love it. I love Ifrit. I think he's really cool. I like his design. I just like the Aeon. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Hey, so look at the way he's moving. <laughs> are, are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> There's a few little cringy type things. I mean, people call them cringy. I don't really find them that way. There's a couple other things in the game, but you know, this is a different time for gaming. It was just different. The dialogue, the writing was different. Let's go ahead and do a couple battles running through here. Might as well. Never hurts to get that extra experience, extra items. The extra. was it? Was it Walker or Kamari that got us the. Ah, it was Waka. Let's do it. We need some abilities first. I hope I don't kill him. Okay, good. Let's get everybody in so we can get the, uh, the experience. Maybe we can get a, uh... Let's end this. Maybe we can get an overkill with Lulu. This fire. Do about 500 damage. Ah, we didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna run through here. Just whatever I encounter, I'll fight. I'll get some ability spheres with Waka. Um, those are... I mean, that, that, uh... What's the name of the ability? Extract ability is is really good. I mean, that's really useful in the game. English. At least we don't have the lizard. Ambushes with him, so the fact that he can petrify just sucks. Okay. Um, bring in a Waka. No worry. We get us three ability spheres right here. He might even overkill a couple of these enemies. Uh, right when I said it. Perfect timing. Okay. Can get two overkills? That'd be nice. That'd be four abilities here. Wow. Okay. That's... That's big. Light shine strong, our woe be gone. Sorry if I don't say a lot during battles, and there's not a whole lot to say. Um, I'll definitely talk a lot when I get into, like, boss battles. I mean, boss battles, I'll talk a lot. Yeah. Not that I might, I was gonna bring him out different. I'll, I'll probably bring him out somewhere in here somewhere. Um, I'll, I'll pick a, I'll pick an enemy and I'll bring Ifrit out. Let him uh, 
show him, show you what he can do. Okay, well, that's five abilities here from that one battle. All right. And the thing is, you only got that abil these abilities, the extract abilities, you only got these in the remaster. You didn't have these in, in the original, so I mean, you either had the spheres or you didn't. So you'd have to wait to, you know, move people forward if there was something you wanted. Go ahead and do a couple more battles before we leave. Preemptive strike. Okay. Um... Heal with Yuna... I think I'm just gonna kill this thing. Ability. Good. I'll be able to get rid of both of these. Defend. I'll bring Lulu in. Hit it with water. Ah, another overkill. Those are super important when I'm trying to farm those uh, spheres. should be good for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Going to head back into town and then we're going to take the boat on out of here. Now something coming up on the boat that's really cool is you get to learn one of the most powerful Blitz Bowl abil abilities in the game at the beginning before you even play anything. Definitely do that. Um, let's see if she has anything to sell us. She has some. Uh, if anybody doesn't have anything, we'll definitely buy that. Buy that for Waka. Buy that for Lulu. And that's all we need. And we'll go ahead and sell the things we don't need. Uh, you can say that's worth 3400. I mean, that's a that's a good item. Keep everything organized. All right, now. I think there's a... No... Where's the chest? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's go ahead and leave. Off to Luca at last. The matches start as soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah? Now, there's going to be some long conversational stuff, there's, I and mean, there's no more fighting on the boat. It's going to be some long conversational stuff. Made the mistake of not meeting Awaka the first time on the first time on the boat, which was dumb on my part. I should have remembered to do that. Ever watchful Kamari there? Kamari will grow on you, trust me. So, we got our Besaida Arox here. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Nah, it won't let me search yet. What's in this chest? High Potion. Looks like our gals are brewing up something back there. I'd be afraid if I were you. So, these are the some of the Luca goers. Let's see. Ma, you're kind of cute too. Want to have some fun? Pretty fast there. Yeah, the, the Luca people are uh, pretty fast. 
Let's head on out. Oh, that was fascinating. There's a walk -up. you're wearing. Yeah! Filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All me names, not a walker. Don't look like you got much money, either. I've no business with you. Out of me way. Who do you think you are? Awaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. Awaka will be super useful. Awaka will be super useful throughout the game. Some people can be so rude. Oh, Donna. Got Gata sleeping back here. Now, oh right. If you go in the power room, the first, uh, like the first part of the ship. What? What the heck is that? What? What the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? <sighs> Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. There would be an Albed Primer down here somewhere. But I've already got him, of course. Chocobos are one of the only creatures to appear in almost every Final Fantasy game. Chocobos are awesome. You gotta love the chocobos. That was weird. I didn't even go up the steps. I was trying to talk to a walker. Someday, the name of walker will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. Um, I would recommend lend lending him a little bit. I'll lend him... 6... 46... I'll make it up to you that I will. Now, that'll help him lower the prices on you, and he'll have some really good items later on in the game. Go ahead and save it. Now, we will head on up. Losing Gata. One of them are sleeping back there. There's a little side thing you can trigger with Yuna right here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. What y'all talking about? Who are you supposed to be? Ah, I remember him. Guy from Kilika. Huh? You know, one of the Besaid Aurochs said something about winning the cup. Oh, right. You're that idiot. Don't call him that. But he is an idiot. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. Well, they do now that I'm here. Yes, they will win. He used to be the star player of the Xanarkand Apes. <laughs> yeah, as if anyone lived in those ruins. It's not ruins. There's a big city there. There is. Uh... I, uh, got too close to Sin and... There is a city, really. Right, whatever your ladyship says. Let's talk to Yuna. What's wrong? You seemed kind of mad back there. They were being rude and... I do believe your Xanarkand exists. I really do, you know? How come? Sir Jack used to always tell me stories. It'd be great to see your home someday. I'd love to go there. Yeah. So, Yuna, want to come over to my place? Right. Sure. As if I had a place to show her. 
All right, so got to trigger some stuff up here with Waka and Lulu. This is going to be kind of a long little conversation piece, so I won't be saying much through this. Well, say something. You'll take responsibility. Relax, he's bound to know someone in Luca. And if not? You could always join a Blitz team. Anyhow, it's better than just leaving him in Besaid. What? Just leaving him in Luca? What do you want me to do? Yuno wants to make him a guardian. Oh, yeah, jeez. There's that too, eh? And whose fault is that? Not mine! It is mine, huh? There's, there's a few, uh, several you have to trigger, so I'll just keep going Why back up. Why do you think up. she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. 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 That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean, he's got to decide for himself, yeah? Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right, for once. <clears throat> I wonder which is best. One or two more? I can't Why remember. Why don't you tell him he should? Should what? Become Yuna's guardian. Why me? Because Yuna can't. Why not? He hates his father. What he was, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him, I want you to be my guardian, like your father was to mine? Are you being oversensitive? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know. It's his decision. That's the last one. Oh, one more. He doesn't like his father. Apparently, he told Yuna as much. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about them. I... I was five then, so I remember mine a little. Damn it! Hmm? Sim just takes everything away from us. So you got a little more backstory with uh, Waka and Lulu, Lulu there. So Waka's parents got killed when he was really young, and so did Lulu's. So we have to go out here to this bowl. And this is where we get the ability. You kind of have to pass a little, uh, little, little test here. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. The memories of that day still haunt Titus and interfere with his concentration. Try to shake off the memories and su successfully perform the ject shot. So, you just have to follow the words. Basically, it's, so you go up, left, and X, X. Down right next. So, here we go. Let's do it. You can't uh, no one else. you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't no one do, else it. Can do it. You're out of your league. No one else. And fantastic. So 
We got it. That's one of the huh. best shots in the entire game in Blitzball. <laughs> the best? Yeah, right. Huh? Whoa! What's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? Now, of course, they're going to go and uh, see if they can get it done. <laughs> Let's go talk to Yuna. That was the jet shot, wasn't it? Uh How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jet Shot Mark III. <sighs> Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was gonna happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. Go ahead and save. And like I said, we have a lot of cutscene stuff. So I might actually end it after this next big long stretch of cutscenes. Number two. All the way from... 
from Chilica, it's the Chilica Beasts. High Summoner O'Holland used to play for them, a big name to live up to. Their hometown was recently attacked by Sin. Isn't that right, Jimma? Yes, Baba, they're gonna be pulling out all the stops to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Aurox. They're a living, breathing, statistical impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. That's right, in 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. They're discrediting us already. Moving right along, our next team is... Here they are, folks, our very own Luca Goers! They've got power, they've got speed, they've got teamwork. They're an all-round first-class team, and they're back home in Luca. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Looks like all of Luca has turned out to cheer the goers on. It's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. Stop right there, goers! You guys are smiling now, but not for long! Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup! <laughs> What in Yevon's name were you doing up there? We sure stood out, though. We were on the sphere. We were? Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three, Don! What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived, that's what. Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. All right, so... I'm getting ready to see Maester Micah now. If I had to compare him to anybody in the real world, I, I guess he'd be kind of like the Pope. The Pope is the closest thing I can, I can think of off the top of my head. Plus, you're about to see some of the greatest video game hair of all time. Hmm. Can't see a thing. Shh. Other than Walkers. That's a Guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? People of Spira, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Maester Simon, and all of you as well. 
I present to you the son of Mr. Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Nightbars. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. Really psychs you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also. Going to save again. <laughs> Getting into more cutscenes. I promise there's going to be some gameplay. Maybe not in this episode, but there's just a long stretch of cutscenes here. Where's Waka? Let the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Walker! <laughs> we're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first. Let's go over the basics again, boys. Now, I'm not going to go over the basics. Um, I know how to play. Um, if anybody's... I, I can kind of go over it when I actually play a game. Um, but if anybody wants to know, like, the full breakdown, I'm sure there's a way you can find out out there. Someone said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Ho ho ho! Uh, Oren? Look who it is. Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Hey! Hey! hey, hey. The game starts like real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Hey, Waka, you're stiff, man. Mm. No, no, not your face. Yeah. Just breathe out, relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> Just breathe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. Huh? How? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jekt is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the RN Yuna was talking about, and the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know of why, course he is. but I knew it How was the same guy. How many do you know? I knew it was the same Oren. But the story's kind of coming together, as you guys see. Oren and Jekt were both... Guardians for Braska, so kind of coming together a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. Go ahead and save. I, I know there wasn't any, almost no gameplay, a lot of cutscenes. I apologize about that, but you know that's just there won't be another stretch of cutscenes. I don't think that long anywhere else in the game. But um, starting next episode, uh, we're going to go find Sir Oren and then just. Uh, got the blitz ball coming up so hope you guys enjoyed this there's a lot of story a lot of cutscene type stuff 
A lot of backstory, though. A, a lot of characters introduced, things like that. So it was at least interesting story. So uh, don't ever forget to uh, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, you guys have a good day.